Also, it already has the Super Heavy Samurai Orcus deck. So we can take a look at that real quick. I'm not sure what the idea here is. But apparently, it somehow gives Ibli to the opponent. I'd be very interested in, in watching a deck profile or seeing the standard combo. Because it still plays... The Savage Dragon and the Baron de Fleur, but there's no Appaloosa. So what I'm guessing is that we somehow, somehow we go into, instead of going Appaloosa at the end of the combo, we end up making a gigantic sprite, summoning the Ibli, and then we give it to our opponent somehow. And apparently we, pro we can protect it with a beat cop counter, which I don't know who would ever do something like that. That's kind of cruel. That's kind of crazy that you thought that would be a good idea. Who puts beat cop counters on floodgates, dude? That's, that's messed up. That's a messed up thing to do. And then... But how do we... How does the Orcus part tie into all this? Maybe we search Orcus Nightmare off Clifford Genius. Ooh. Clifford Genius. Search Orcus Nightmare. But then we're not searching Regulus. So we search that that can't be it, right? I mean, the Orcist engine, I understand what the Orcist engine provides, right? I, I, I understand that what the Orcist engine provides. It's like you, you pendulum summon one of them, you go into your Orcus combo, you set up Babel. Babel is, a, is another disruption on your opponent's turn that does not technically ever hit the graveyard, right? Because Babel has a recycling effect, right? I'm the Super Heavy Samurai Orcus player. You can search... You can search Nightmare of Genius, but I almost always preferred Regulus. No space for Gear Gigant X. The ideal starting hand in su is Super Heavy Samurai plus Nightmare or Gear Su plus a monster discard and gives you Barone, Regulus, Mascarena plus Ibli protected by Beat Cop. We end on... We really end on IP Mascarena without Unicorn? Mascarena only for Goddess? No Crescendo? I mean, you could play Crescendo, I don't know. They preferred Babel, I guess. Gotta link Ibli away. Yeah, they can... The thing is, I think you need Unicorn. Because you give your opponent an Ibli with a Beat Cop counter, so the only way they can get rid of it is link it off. So if they normal summon to make a link too, you want to Unicorn spin that. No? Am I wrong here? Well, I guess you have Babel... To revive Dingirsu to send it. But then why do you need uh why do you need IP? You can mask into any link too with their normal. Well, yeah, you can make goddess, but like why would you <sighs> to give the Ibli back? What do you mean give the Ibli back? Was the Link Karibo for? Uh, uh, is the token of Gearsu level 1 maybe? It is, right? Yeah. And I think Galatea needs... Except... I think Galatea says accept token, right? I think Galatea needs effect monsters or accept token, something like that. I don't think you can make Galatea with a token. I think that's why you have to play it. Effect monsters, yeah. Effect monsters. So that's why that is here. Interesting overall. How does the combo go into Gigantic Sprite? What is the level twos you go into Gigantic Sprite with? One of them is... Is one of them Galatea? Probably not. You overlay Galatea? But then you don't have Dingirsu in the graveyard. Genius and Bike. Yeah, Genius and Bike maybe. That shit is scary. Gigantic into Ibli, into Beat Cop, into Protect Ibli is scary shit. Uh, X Scoben, thank you for the Prime, and Ariland, thank you for the 11 months. Maybe cooking wild dishes. I don't think it's that outrageous. But, by the way, what did they take out? They still have 3, 6, 9, 12 hand traps and Kurikaras. What did they remove? From the original deck, they only play one... I'm gonna say it wrong again. They only play one wagon. They only play one wagon, so they took out two wagons. There's no Ancient Gear box. There's no Tunneler for, for follow-up. I'm not gonna lie, I think the idea is cute. 
I think the idea is cute, but that's all there is to it. I don't think it's better. I don't think it's much worse either, but I think the the original deck list was already good enough and probably more consistent. It was more consistent because it had a little bit a few more starters. I think th I think there's no need to deviate from the original plan. You know what I mean? I don't think there's enough of a reason to deviate from the original plan here. What does it solve? Exactly. I don't see how it solves any of the problems. I mean, the Babel, the Babel and the Ibli makes it so you're a little bit less weak to certain cards, like uh, Dark Ruler, for example, is like... Dark Ruler is less of a problem if you give them an Ibli. Because they still have to have a normal summon and be able to link it off. You also don't lose to two combinations like Dark Ruler evenly, for example. You have Babel to revive... Like, for example... For example, if, if you have Babel set up with, uh, with Dingirsu in the graveyard, and you give them a, an Ibli... Uh, even if they Dark Ruler you, they normal summon... To, to link it off, you just, like, bring back the gears who sent the normal summon, so that works. Wouldn't Crescendo be better to beat Dark Ruler? Uh, specifically against Dark Ruler, Crescendo would be better, yeah. But then you have to... The, the problem with Crescendo is that it ends up in your graveyard after you activate it. Uh, and then on the next turn, if you want to play again, you'd have to banish the Crescendo with its own effect. You banish the crescendo for its own effect, and then you uh, you are locked into darks, right? So you can't go into your super heavy samurai on the next turn. But with Babel, Babel has an effect that resets it from the graveyard too, right? You can always get Babel out of the graveyard. Hold up, let me check that real quick. I, I remember something like this. Orchestrated Babel. During the main phase, if this card's in your grave, except the turn it's sent to the graveyard. Send the card from your hand to the graveyard, add it back to your hand. Yeah, Babel can be Babel can always be retrieved from your graveyard if they even if they destroy it. So it will never interfere with your super heavy samurais. As a as opposed to crescendo. So I like that. I'm I'm still not sure if I, I think I don't think it adds enough to the deck. Cause like if you really want to protect your Ibli. Babel plus Ding is the only thing that I came up with that does not lose to Kaijus and Dark Ruler. Crescendo is turned off if they tribute Galatea. Crescendo is weak to Kaijus. Yeah. Also, uh, good job. Apparently, the pilot of the deck is in, is in chat right now. Well done. Congratulations on your performance. Uh, very cool. It's solid, for sure. It's, it's definitely solid. I don't think it's... I, I think it's... Decent. I don't know if it's better than pure Super Heavy Samurai, like pure, pure. But it's a cool idea for sure. I don't love the idea that you need to draw it. Because, I mean, maybe you want to clarify in chat. Maybe you want to clarify what was your end board if you... Let's say you only draw the Super Heavy Samurai combo, but you don't draw uh, any of the Orcists. Do you just go for like... Regulus Barone Savage, and you just don't have the Appaloosa of the, that the standard build has. You you make something like, uh, I guess you can still beat cop Ibli them. You can still beat cop Ibli them plus Barone Savage probably. Gear Gigant could add Gearsu if you have extra deck space. Yeah, they said they didn't have space for it. So you do the normal Super Heavy Samurai combo. To have Baron Savage Regulus. And then at the end, you overlay Genius and Bike for Gigantic, I guess. With, and summon Ibli, make Beat Cop, give them Ibli, tribute Beat Cop, put a, put a counter on Ibli. So you have Savage, Baron, Regulus, and they have Ibli. Is that roughly what we're doing if we don't draw the Orcus? That's still pretty good. That's still pretty solid, I would say. But then again, that... Uh, that... 
raises the question of do we need the Orcus at all if we're like already good enough. This list is part your fault. Remember this? Nah. I will not take blame for this. I've never put a beat cop counter on my Ibli, on, a, on an Ibli in, in my life. I've never done that. Don't blame me for this. Don't blame me for this. You did something worse? I don't think I did something worse. What I did was based and cool. <laughs> what does the beat cop counter play around? Uh, them crashing it. Them crashing the Ibli into your monster. Wouldn't Girgigant streamline both engines together? Maybe you can find really cool lines with Girgigant. Maybe you can. Maybe you can... Maybe you can do something really cool where you only play, like, a very small Orcus package. Like, even less than these. Only one Girsu. And you just go for a line that makes Girgigant X to add gear. So you can experiment with it. I think at the end of the day, let's be real here. Let's be real here. Super Heavy Samurai can probably, unironically, access almost every single engine in the game if you want to. Right? If you want to, you can probably do whatever the hell you want with Super Heavy Samurai. And, uh... You know... <laughs> that that's what it is, right? And this one is uh this one is cool. Math Max Super Heavy Samurai. Dude, unironically, don't do that. But unironically, you could, right? You could just make the rank four add freaking circular and be like you could do that shit. Right? <laughs> it's probably ter terrible, but you freaking could. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Do not do that. But you probably could. 